we don't legitimize or delegitimize women's hoopers dependent on how they stack up against men's. All we care about is their game. My name is Natalie White. I'm the founder and CEO of Moolah Kicks. I started Moolah Kicks three years ago in 2020 when I was struck by an ad that featured four of the top women's basketball players in the world holding out sneakers named after men's players. As I dug further into the issue, I realized that not only did the lack of women's basketball sneakers have a negative social implication, it had a negative performance one as well because women's feet and men's feet are shaped differently. We did a ton of research to really understand the differences between the female and the male foot form. On the inside, our shoes are molded differently. So we have a higher arch, a slimmer width and a more narrow heel. That means the foot really locks in and feels a different sense of comfort. And so when you play years and years on this equipment that doesn't fit your feet, you're more at risk for knee, ankle, and leg injuries. So at this point, it is not up for debate that women are unfortunately more likely to tear an ACL when compared to their male counterparts doing essentially the exact same activity. So women in general have a wider pelvis for the size of their body relatively than, than a man has. What that means is it puts different stresses downstream into the legs and into the knees as you try to balance. There's more angle because of that wide pelvis. I think the idea of having a shoe, yes, that better fits and takes into account these biomechanical and these anatomic factors, it certainly isn't going to hurt and it only has the potential to help because if we can better fit the woman's foot, better stabilize all of the joints in the foot and ankle to give you a more stable base upon which all of this upper body has to move, now you're going to have better control. And now the force that comes up to your knee either may not be as much force or it may just be better stabilized. So when female hoopers are playing in them, they feel immediate comfort, they don't have to break the shoes in, and they don't feel a lot of the pain that they were used to feeling when they're wearing men's or unisex sneakers. I've always been the type of player where once I have that shoe, I have to break it in and I kind of stick to that shoe the whole season because I'm like, I don't want to go through the process of breaking the shoe back in again. I've been playing basketball all my life and I've always had to break in the shoe. And for me to be able to change that shoe every single week, like, that was insane for me. What she's saying is true because I changed my shoe and my feet are fine. I felt good. They felt good. The women's basketball industry is huge with six and a half million girls playing basketball across the country. Brands not addressing this market previously gives room for us to address it so wholeheartedly. Our sales grew from 2021 to 2022 by 208%. We're really shedding this comparison between men's basketball and women's basketball. So often, women's basketball is addressed as second to men's. It's an add-on, it's tacked on after. At Moolah, women's basketball comes first. Having your own shoe is everything in women's hoops, right? It's the goal and having a brand that's solely dedicated to you speaks even louder. And so seeing stars like Angel Reese, Caitlin Clark and others pop up, it's unbelievably exciting for women's basketball as a whole and it just shows how far we can go.